down the top 10 plays Monday night, but we shall give it a whirl. Number 10 comes from the Red Sox and A's, and foul pop. Jason Kendall. Swisher and issues and bobbling, but hey, you know what? Nick Swisher's there to grab it. That is teamwork. A's end up losing, though. Pete Rose, Bob Boone, 2006. Number nine, Cubs, Mets. Nephi Perez with a little help from Greg Maddox. One, four, three. When you acquire like 100 gold gloves, which Maddox has, sometimes it's hard to field with the leather one. Speaking of fielding, number eight, Willie the Klepto Cat. Fields a few gardener's gloves, and Cat's owner decides why not just display them in the front yard. Smells rather nice collection, I'll say. Great, Larson. Number seven, Twins White Sox. Jason Tyner. Stealing? Pretty close. Next to that 400 foot sign. Nice grab up against the wall. Twins win again. Speaking of nice grabs. Number six, Blue Jays Mariners. Reed Johnson doesn't have to scale a wall. He just lays out. Take another look at that. And nothing like sacrificing the body for the grab. Number five, it's Carol Gilgenbach, whose grandkids just call her Crazy Grandma. She's skydiving for her 80th birthday. Gravity can be your friend at 80. That is brave. And these are the Braves and the Phils. Wilson Benamit. Bare hands the grounder, throw to first for the out. Wow. That's awesome. Braves take it, 10-8. Number three. Twins in the White Sox. Jason Bartlett ranging, ranging, ranging. Over the shoulder. Made it look easy, as are the Twins in general. This looks kind of easy. Cubs and Mets, Juan Pierre. It's probably not, but looks pretty. Cubs take it, 8-7 the final. Number one, the Connecticut Sun and the New York Liberty, Aaron Thorne hit a three to beat the first quarter buzzer. The third quarter, a little farther back. We'll have to let it go from midcourt, over her head, knocks it down! Aaron Thorne, soccer throw-in style from midcourt. That's her second buzzer-beating prayer tonight. Sports Center's top 10 plays. Brought to you by Levi's. And from one top 10 to another, our top plays. Reds Astros. Watch after the pitch. Brad Osmus fakes the throw to second. Royce Clayton, he's cool. And now feeling cool. And now he's up. That's embarrassing. For everyone involved. Number nine, number nine, California's Imperial Beach. You know, they're searching for a contest looking for Jeep keys. You know what they hope that they don't find? Is the fault line. Two words, metal detector. Number eight, Padres Dodgers, Mike Cameron. Takes the base hit and guns down Toby Hall. Padres in a 7-3 win. Mike Piazza on the other end of that play. At number seven, Angels, Devil Rays. What you talking about, Willits? Reggie Willits. Brought his adult glove. Sliding there to make the catch. Great catch, but not a good game. Angels lost. Number six, Brandon Phillips has been all over this show. Rich really makes the stop. Look at the turn by Phillips. The runner bearing down. Great double play. And more from Brandon. A little later on in this top ten. At number five, Hoops in the Sun. This is the Summer League, Orchard Park in the Bronx. Mike Peterson. Oh, 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 oh. over the golf cart. Sick. Four. Four. Reds Astros, Brandon Phillips. Again, I told you he'd be back. Oh, what a catch. Reds win 2-0. Brandon Phillips apparently responsible for vir virtually all of them. At number three, Tigers Indians, Casey Blake to center, Curtis Granderson, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, I don't got it. He's down and around the bases in his PF Flyers, Casey Blake, the inside the park home run in the Indians win. Number two, Twins White Sox, big game, big play. Jason Bartlett, great stop in the throw to get Scott Pesednik. Punch out. Diving to his feet and got him in a huge Twins win. At number one, the Braves lost to the Marlins. Ryan Langerhands in place of Andrew Jones. 
Made some Andrew Jones-like catches. That in the eighth, and then in the ninth, keeping this one in the park. Center, Langer hands. Pulls it back! He took the home run away! All right, the 10 best from Wednesday. There are top 10 plays. Pirates Brewers at number 10, Jeff Cirillo. He's got a glove. Doesn't mean you have to use it. However, his Brewers lost eight. Number nine, number nine, Evian Masters, Michelle Wee. She's from Hawaii. Aloha! 40 foot eagle. 69 first round, tied for eight, three of them. Blue Jays Mariners at number eight, Aaron Hill. He's going to use his glove, but not the hand. You don't have to use the hand either. It's really optional. You, you may have just a the hand. Going on the yeah. Well, we'll see how it works out. I'm going to go number seven, Padres Dodgers, Mark Bellhorn. You know, you talked about Richie Sexton having peeps. Well, Bellhorn, he has peeps, too. There they are, right there. He goes and visits them. It's nice if you can say hi to your peeps during the game. Exactly. It's a peep advantage. Number six, here we go. Twins, White Sox, Luis Castillo on his knees. Now, I could continue the theme if he could somehow throw the ball with his knees. He did not, but it was a great play nonetheless. I'm going number five, Wednesday night fights. Now, William Preto, he thought it was dance class. And Peter Quillen said, you can't dance with my dates, but you do have a date with my right hand. 66 seconds in, and this is a KO for Quillen as Preto is danced out. Might want to bring those hands up. Just a little. Reds, Astros, number four, Aubrey Huff. The standard diving, you know, caught it with the glove, got up, threw it with the hand, sort of top play out. A Mansky like At number three, Red Sox A's, Bobby Kilty with the backhand. Take another look. The A's beat the Red Sox 5-1. Number two, Cubs Mets. Nobody scoring. Here's why. People like Ronnie Cedeno making plays like that. There were a lot of them in a 1-0 game. All right, see your Cubs Mets raise you. Chivas USA, Real Salt Lake. It's Tally. Oh, ho, ho. Carey Tally. Are you kidding me? Game ended in a 3 3 tie. What a game. Time now for top plays. We'll count them down. Starting from number 10, Blue Jays and the A's. Reed Johnson's going to hit one right back at Joe Blanton. Blanton deflects it. Bobby Crosby coming up firing. A's go on to win it 5-2. Thanks at least in part to some fine fair-handed defense from the A's shortstop. Number nine comes in Cardinals. Chris Duncan well hit over the third, but Aramis Ramirez... There to make the diving stop. Got it just before it got through. Lots more for that game coming up. Number eight, Brewers have added another sausage to those great sausage races. A Mexican sausage named Chorizo. The new sausage nickname El Picante said, quote, I am very humbled to be in the presence of so many world-class wieners. Excuse me? The sausage didn't really come, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Career night in the WNBA for Diana Taurasi. You saw it, 41 points against the Comets, but not enough. Phoenix goes down by three. Number six, more from the Cardinals and the Cubs. Todd Walker dies for a grounder up the middle and gets David Eckstein going to first. And later, here's more from Walker. Couldn't pick out just one top play from him, so another diving stop. Marlins and Braves at number five. Mike Jacobs into the hole. Marcus Giles down to get it. But the Marlins going to win it six to one. At least they had defense. Number four in the U.S. Bank Championship, Corey Pavin. Corey Pavin broke the PGA nine-hole scoring record when he shot a 26 on the front nine. At the U.S. Bank Championship, he went on to shoot a nine under 61. I would say, stating the obvious, he is your first-round leader. <laughs> Back to the Cardinals and Cubs at number three. Top eight, two outs, Albert Pujols. That's well hit, but well played by Jock Jones. Nice grab, and the Cubs going to win it 5-4. At number two, Reds and Astros, Ryan Friel grounds one down the line. Aubrey Huff, diving play in the peg, and the Reds go on to win it. Fine defensive play by Huff to knock it down to make the play. At number one, Padres and Rockies, drama in the 10th. Here comes the throw, here comes Freeman to the plate. The slide, safe! Rocky 
Rockies win. Bowen never got the tag on him. Rockies win it 9 to 8. What a comeback by the Colorado Rockies. Thank you for that introduction. Hardly the usual top 10 at number 10 of all the introductions we've had. That was one of them. Diamondbacks and the Astros. Mike Lamb taking off from first and trying to take the extra base, but then he, well, he slides about three feet past second and has to slide back in safely. Not safe there. Is safe there. Hardly the usual. <laughs> Welcome. Number nine, number nine. BGA Bank Championship, Corey Pavin, unlike the unlike the Llama, he's, he's not a big hitter. But he did set a PGA scoring record for nine holes, shot a 26 on the par 34 front nine, shot an opening round 61, and he holds a one-shot lead in this event. Corey Pavin. Number eight on Tuesday, Reds and Astros, top second, two on, two out, and Brad Osmus, oh, a little trickeration. Catches Royce Clayton, getting a little far away from the bank, perhaps worst thing to happen to Clayton since he struck out in the movie The Rookie. Osmond's just running him right back. Tagged him. At number seven, Royals Rangers Friday. David De Jesus single and Gary Matthews. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. Andres Blanco will score from second. The ball rolls all the way to the wall. Gary chasing after it. It's a three base air. De Jesus makes it all the way home to score on the bad play. It was it was even worse for oh, for Uncle Buck's team. 11-3 losers. At number six from last Saturday, Yankees and Blue Jays, uh, Nick Green just sort of gave up on that Ted Lilly pitch. That's not going to be on Nick's resume reel. At number five, this is, uh, well, Mr. Ed and Wilbur never had this problem. City Affair, the horse, Paul O'Neill and Happy, because City Affair had thrown him. He goes Zidane on him. <laughs> number four, Brewers and Reds, Ryan Frio at the plate. The pitch doesn't hit him. It, well, he just gets in his laundry. Get that thing loose, go on to first base. At number three, he's made from coarsely chopped fatty pork and is usually seasoned with chili and paprika. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest racing sausage, Carrizo. He'll have his first race on Saturday, then he's going to be sent to the minors for further seasoning. Wednesday night fights, William Prieto and Peter Quillen dancing around the ring, and boy, a little overhand ride will put you down just over a minute into the fight. Or Chorizo, Monday, WNBA. We'll have to let it go from midcourt, over her head, knocks it down! Aaron Thorne, soccer throw-in style from midcourt. That's her second concert. Hardly the usual top 10, brought to you by... Top 10 plays of the week, I like seeing a lapacoid. Number 10, Red, Reds Astros. After the pitch, Brad Osmus fakes the throw to second, ran the okie doke on kid. Especially Royce Clayton catching the run down between third and home. Take another look, look. Ah, uh, see what? My bad. International Pool Tour North American Open Eight Ball Championship in Las Vegas. Thorsten, the Hitman Hallman, defeats marvelous Marlon Manalo. He wins 350 in cash, biggest prize in pool history. You can win a quarter million for fishing or 350 for playing pool. After taxes, it's only like 180 though. Number eight, Diamondbacks Astros. Carlos Quentin, nice grab, two more looks, and the Russian judges gave him a 9.8 on his dismount. Diamondbacks lost 4-1. Jerry Talley, a one to strike. There, it's Tally. Oh, oh, oh! Kerry Tally, are you kidding me? That was Chivas USA and Real Salt Lake. Game ended in a 3 3 tie. Number six, Reds Astros. Rich Aurelia makes the stop, throws to Brandon Phillips, who jumps just over a dude. Mm. Get the double play. We like editing equipment, which is why we show you things again in slower motion. Astros lost the game 2 0. Marlins Braves on Tuesday. 18 is sick. 18's Ryan Langerhans. You know you get a great view of this if you're at the chop shop out there having a beer on a hot Atlanta night. You could watch Langerhans rob Josh Willingham. The Braves though lost the game two to one. Number four, New York Liberty's Aaron Thorne just went silly all week long. Baker sets up Thorne for three. Banks it in! Thorne will have to let it go from midcourt. Over her head, knocks it down! Now Thorne, who's been red hot, crosses over, rises! Wednesday night fights. William Prato's just dancing around the ring until Peter Quill is like, enough of this nonsense. He liked that kid in the schoolyard. Yeah! Qu uh, Quillen. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible deal when you like 
Cut me Looked big. like a dude that had 19 beers. Cut me big. Cut One me. minute into the fight. Number two, Mariners Indians, Grady Sizemore. All right, I don't know why that's number two. I think it's more like six. Just me. That's pretty good. It's... No. But it is not number one in the hood, G. Corey Patterson gets the honor in a berserk 13 to 11 game won by the White Sox. Patterson prevented it from being worse. This is a double play. He doubles off the runner. That is well done. Lose lost his sunglasses there, but like I said, the Orioles lost the game. Oh, I'll tell you.